Hey everybody, um, I've been just sitting around here talking to my best friend Bobo on Skype here, and his fucking webcam won't work, and uh, he's been getting pissed off about some shit while we've been talking, and just wants to make a video. I want him to make a video because he hasn't been able to put any on his channel yet, so Bobo, I defer to you. As it stands, I've had a lot of people telling me that I need to suffer through life enduring the hardships and everything else so that I can be happy later on in life, so that I can retire and be satisfied where I'm at. And to the people who say this, I have a simple response, which is, fuck you. The reason being I say fuck you is right now I'm alive. Right now is where I get to decide if I'm happy or not. I can be unhappy right now in my life, suffer through whatever people say is the right thing to do in order to be successful in life, and only then be happy. The problem is with all of that is that I haven't been happy until that moment. I have wasted a good majority of my entire life working towards this goal of being happy later. And when that is the case, well, quite simply, I'm never happy. No one's ever happy when they're working towards being happy later because they're not happy right now. When they're sitting there saying, well, you need to put forth all this effort, you need to grow up and all this in order to be happy later in their lifetime. They're never taking into account what's happening right now, that they're not being happy right now, that they're not enjoying life right now, that they're suffering and suffering for the supposed goal of being happy later on. Basically, what that equates to is people being retired. They're saying that, well, I'll suffer for a while, but I'll be happy when I retire. And that's great. That's good enough. But you know what? I counter with the simple argument, no, no, it's not. And why I say this is because every day is another day of your life. Another day that you're not being happy. Another day that you're just sitting there, suffering through whatever work you've chosen, feeling that maybe later things will be better. And you know what? As long as you're sitting there saying, maybe later things will be better, they will not be better right now. Nope. And what that comes down to is simply put. I mean, if I'm going to say it as simple as I possibly can, that is that, yes, you may be working hard to be happy later. You may be putting forth all this effort, you know, sacrificing your happiness now, putting aside your friendships and everything else so that you can be happy later. Fine you know what, I'll be happy right now. I'll be happy doing what I'm doing in life at this very moment so that when later comes around, I have already said, you know what, I've had my good times in life. I've worked hard, and I do work hard, but I've never actually sat there and said, I work hard, I should just be miserable. Yeah, it's like, I mean, you know, in the first place, it's like, Poor people who are, like, you know, they can be so happy with their lives. I mean, you know, how much money you make is not attached to how much you actually enjoy your life, right? So, exactly. you know, it's, you know, oh, I'm working really hard and that means that I can't be happy now. It doesn't particular, it doesn't specifically preclude that. And at the same time, um, I mean, it just... God, people, live your fucking lives a little bit. Please, stop like, letting you're fucking... you're 72, or whatever age is currently the now I can retire age. Yeah. You've already lived most of your life being unhappy. You're already done. I, you know, okay, I can now be happy. I don't care. You've already lived a good part of your life the part where all of your body parts work. And you've said, I don't want to be happy yet. Oh, so you know what? Oh, my knees got blown off in that war, but I'm going to be happy old now. 
And you know what? You're already too late. You already missed it. Too bad. It's already gone. The time of your life has already ended. That time where you can sit there and say, I want to experiment with what makes me happy. I want to try out different things in my life. It's already gone. It's already done. Now you're retired. Now you're old. Now you've already lived the majority of your life. And only now can you try to be happy. You're already married, probably, by this time. You've already made obligations. You've already done things based on what your life has told you to do. And you know what? Where are you in that whole equation? Where are you? Where is what you want to do? Sure, you've done things because they make your life work. And you know what? I can understand that. I can understand doing things to make your life work out as you want it, or as you want it to. Do. That's great. At the same time, if you are not being happy now, when are you going to be happy? Well, but but if I hadn't done that stuff that made me unhappy that whole time, then I wouldn't be able to be happy later in my life. And and like then I wouldn't be able to like make any money and I wouldn't be able to live this bullshit American dream thing that people have, you know, made up and 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 bullshit other devil's advocate things. And you know what? Sure. I'll give it to you. If you want to play devil's advocate with me and say that, yes, you now get to actually enjoy your life with money. Well, you know what? That's great. I'm glad you feel that way. I'm glad that your life requires money to have fun. Now, if you're like the rest of us, whose life does not require money to have fun, well you might want to start taking a look at what you're doing from day to day. You might just want to start saying, hey, I hate my job in my life. Why is this? Shouldn't I take a look at why I hate my job in my life? And maybe I should do something to fix it? Well, that's what I am doing. I mean, I'm working every day to try and, to try and fix that so that I can be happy in the future, right? Ah, yes. That comes down to this false, and I do say false, idea that is happiness is a long-term goal that can quote-unquote be achieved. That is a lie. Achieved. Mm -hmm. Yes. Happiness is not something that can be achieved because happiness is not a state that lasts forever despite the fact of what, you know, fairy tales would have you believe and they lived happily ever and ever that's not a thing that is real you're happy right now mm -hmm. guess what tomorrow you may not be happy the things that made you happy today may not make you happy tomorrow and if that is the case then where are you where are you in life what have you done with yourself with your life if you are at the position where all of a sudden I didn't try X out, I wonder what X, quote unquote, I have no idea what happiness is like because I never tried it. You know, uh, this is reminding me a lot of uh, a TED talk that I heard recently uh, that talked about how there's a dissonance between your, mem your memory self and your experiential self. Because, say as an example, if you go through a relationship, right? And you're so happy throughout that relationship, but then it suddenly ends poorly. Then the way you remember that experience is suddenly tainted, right? It's suddenly, that, that experience was horrible. And this seems to be the opposite of that, of people forgetting that the experiences they're having right now suck in hopes of some um, ending effect that will be positive, that is, in the first place, it's purely fucking speculative. Not to mention the you fact are, that it might just be a pipe dream. You are incredibly correct, actually. Oh, oh I see, so it's surprising. says that they are going to be happy later, they are actually just going going on the speculation that 
quote unquote retirement's going to take care of them. They won't need to work anymore after this. I and believe there I believe there is one phrase for it. I believe there's one bullshit phrase for it. It's called the golden years. Yes. Yes, it is. Mm-hmm. There's this idea that once you're 70 or whatever, current uh, particular view uh, defines the golden years. Because it does change between year to year. Um, there's this idea that the golden years is where you're supposed to have fun. Mm-hmm. That until this point, you are supposed to suffer and work and be in drudgery. And then only after this time are you actually, per, you know, permissed by the greater authority to have fun. How dare you have fun before the time that you are destined to enjoy yourself? How dare you? I f- fucking hate the way this society is set up. I swear to God. Did- the bullshit that you get, like the, the the larger systemic message that is disseminated through the fucking media um, that basically perpetuates the same type of bullshit that you're talking about, you know? What, that only later can you actually enjoy yourself? That during the prime of your life, you actually have to be working hard, suffer for your money. Because if you enjoy yourself during the prime of your adulthood, you're a fucking immature child. By g- oh my god, you want to have fun? Well, fuck you then, because fun is only for children, and adults sit there and suffer all day and night and never do anything, ever, that's fun. By god, that's why children smoke pot. Not adults. Adults don't do adults that shit. Never, quote unquote, smoke pot. No. Despite the stiletto, uh, the stiletto heel girls, you know the stiletto hotties, as some people call them. Mm-hmm. The girls that smoke pot to have fun after they're working. Yeah. You know how this is an entire thing that's going on in reality for, for now, right? Where there are females deciding, and specifically I note females because having fun is a very masculine thing, and girls need to suffer. But girls are having fun. They're having promiscuous sex with guys they think are hot. And they're actually going out and clubbing when they have a job. How dare those bitches? God, those fucking sluts. I know. I know, I mean, you know, the fact that you could have fun outside of a traditional Christian procreative marriage. God. Per- G- I mean, Jesus perished the thought. Exactly. You know? Because, you know, there is no such thing as fun outside of a Christian dogma. Absolutely There's not. no such thing as fun outside of a Muslim dogma. I mean, of course, this is a thing. People can't have fun outside of what people say they can. You know, um, unfortunately, I'm going to have to stop it there because we're at the 14 minute and 40 second mark. and uh, That makes sense. You know, and it's got to be only 15 minutes long. So thanks, everybody, for probably laughing your asses off at our dumbassery. And peace. What you know is right. Yes, you do.